guys welcome back to a brand new video if you're new here my name is Cara I upload three different videos every single week every Monday Wednesday and Friday at 5 p.m and today I'm gonna apologize I'm in my pajamas because to be fair I'm about to do a try on haul so I didn't think there was any point in getting dressed and I have no makeup on it's gonna be a really chill day after this video I've got Lauren come around and we're just gonna have a movie day on the sofa which is so so needed um tea face mask candles the lot so this is a vintage haul so it has took about two months to collect this much clothes and wait for them to arrive i've had two or three different orders been cancelled so then you wait for them to arrive they don't arrive you get a refund so yeah there is a lot to get through. A few of these items I've actually been gifted from my friend Rose, who I work with. So these two tops I'll show first because they're very similar. So this one's from, they're both from New Look actually. Size, this one's size eight and this one's size 10. They both fit really nicely and I'd wear them with black jeans and I'll probably try them on like that too. This is more of a summery top, but I thought with jeans and maybe a chunky white cardigan, I could wear it in the autumn winter time and I really do like it. It's this peplum top. I'm not going to say much about them because obviously you're going to see them tried on, but this is definitely an autumn colour, which I can't wait to try on for you. And like I say, white cream knitted cardigan would go really well with this one as well. So everything else is what I have bought myself from Vinted. The first two things are accessories that I wanted to show you. So I first saw this um, actually on Instagram for Primark and then on someone's vlog that I watch on YouTube and I never found it in my store, which I really wanted to get. I actually did pick this up in a lavender blue from my store, but I never saw it in any colours. The black is used, but literally nowhere on it whatsoever. I'll probably put prices up here on display because I have absolutely no idea how much I paid um including postage this in the shops would have been six pounds brand new and yeah i can't wait to finally put them on my door because so i have four dresses to show you from my haul and the first one that i picked up was this denim dress from primark like i say i can't show you very well here but i will try them on for you um i actually did pick the this up in store in a size 12 it didn't fit, unfortunately. I couldn't zip it all the way up. So I went back to get a 14 and they never had it back in my store. So luckily found it on Vinted. And I really like it. It fits lovely. And like I say, I can't wait to wear this next summer. This is the denim dress. I really, really like this dress. You can also have the tie waist either at the front side or at the back. The back would look really nice as well. But yeah, I really do like this dress. I like the tears. This bit I'm not quite sure on because it doesn't seem to sit very well. As you can see here, it just rolls up a little bit. It probably needs an iron. And yeah, I do really like this dress and I can't wait to wear it next summer with sandals and converses. Maybe more appropriate for autumn winter is this very long bodycon grey knitted dress. Also from Primark, size 10 to 12. Um, and it's this v-neck long sleeved dress and it has got a tie waist as well and yeah i think has it got slits no it doesn't have slips in it but the ones in primark at the moment they do which i would really like that in maybe a black or a cream color but yeah i've got that in gray so this is the knitted gray dress i'm not a fan to be honest i think the sleeves are too long it's quite big here it doesn't sit right i like the v-neck i like the tie waist it is very bodycon so i feel completely out of my comfort zone and it is too long i wish it came to about there maybe would look a better length i know this looks awful now um but i think to the knees would have looked a bit better i just think it's too long um yeah i don't feel comfortable i think i'm gonna try and sell this one on i'm just not comfortable in this at all this dress i picked up was from boohoo originally in a size 12 i believe let me have a look yeah in a size 12 and someone i used to know had this dress and she used to wear it on nights out and i was jealous of it um it doesn't look much hanging up and it's really soft uh, material it's not restricted at all but i thought this with some black heels on a night out would just be really lovely 
Um, and even you can dress it down with cardigan tights and boots as well, to be fair. I really do like this dress. It's nice and comfy. I think it does give the illusion of a smaller waist. I like the fact that this is a little bit shorter than the back. I'd probably still try and wear cycling shorts underneath because I wear cycling shorts with all my dresses. But I think also with tights and a cardigan, like I said earlier, would look really nice. It's just a shame that this tie waist does absolutely nothing. It is just for show. But I like that the arms are a little bit covered and I like the v-neck as well. So yeah, I am really happy with this dress. But this is a really lovely bodycon going out dress. As you can see, it's from Pretty Little Thing, which I've never bought anything from Pretty Little Thing before. Um, in a size, does it tell us? In a size 12. And it's a stretchy material at the back. And then it's got this beautiful lace detailing. Lace embroidered. Um, yeah, and I can't wait to try this on. So this is the pink Pretty Little Thing dress. I really, really do like this. Um, I like the v-neck. I think it really does flatter the chest. Obviously, I'd have to find a strapless bra. This is actually a strapless bra. I'd have to take the straps off, actually. I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, I like that it kind of comes in here. I'd have to wear nude underwear. Sorry if you can see. Um, this is obviously sh really short, so I don't think I'd get away with wearing shorts underneath, which is a shame is obviously a different material but you can see my underwear completely um so it'd have to be nude or white underwear this is a really lovely dress i love the detailing um i just think nude underwear and take the straps off and it'd be good for a night out and um, jacket um they have this in primark for 13 pounds and i just couldn't justify another denim jacket because I had literally just bought the really light acid wash one if you can remember back from my hauls from the summer and I know I got this a bit cheaper on Vinted this was actually brand new but I've worn this loads over the summer in the meantime of collecting all these clothes and like I say it is from this year's Primark range and yeah I'm really happy with it and I've worn it loads. I picked up a skirt and it is in this really summery detail. It's a new look wrap skirt in a size 12, I believe. Yep. And it is a summery colour, which I envision wearing this with a little white cami top and some sandals in the summer. I love wearing these midi skirts in the summer. I just think it's a really effortless, easy throw on outfit. So yeah, I picked that one up. I love this outfit. This is a definite me outfit for the summer. Probably the other denim jacket would look better with the colours, but I really love this. So the denim jacket fits really nicely. I always turn up the sleeves a little bit um, and the skirt fits really, really nicely. And I just love how flowy they are. I love the wrap design if I did take the jacket off, but normally it's my comfort blanket to wear it. But yeah, I really like this outfit. So really happy with these two. The last thing to show you in this haul is this checked shirt. And I'm going to admit, I have already worn it a few times. It's Primark size 14 because I wanted it to be oversized. And I absolutely love the colours in it. So it's black, navy, brown, white. The sleeves roll up and I just wear this with black jeans and a cami top underneath. And I just love that kind of vibe really really like this it's nice and comfy and i haven't seen this is obviously an old primark stock it's not in stores at the minute this is the oversized check shirt i absolutely love this i think it's definitely better than the ones they do nowadays in primark because you can have the option to have the shirt buttoned up or have it down and the ones at the moment don't have that option at all and yeah i think i would wear it open yeah, I think I'd wear it open a lot more than buttoned up because I just don't think that flatters me. But I would wear it with high-waisted jeans like I am so. Just so easy to chuck on a checked shirt with some jeans and a cami top and I'm done. So yeah, really, really happy with this one. So onto this top. I do really like it. It's just a little bit tighter than I would possibly want. I'm going to keep it because I'm still on my weight loss journey. Um, and hopefully it fits a little bit better when I've lost a few pounds. These sleeves, I feel, are really comfortable. It's just the chest area that's just a bit tight. And I would have liked it a little bit longer. But like I say, if I wore a cardigan with it, that 
the length wouldn't bother me it's just how tight it is around the chest area but yeah this is a size 10 so i have absolute no hope for the size 8 but let's give it a try so on to the last item to try on today is this size 8 top from new look and to be fair it fits just as just the same as the size 10 i just wish that because i put these tops on over my head i don't undo the buttons so i just wish that this bit was covered I just don't like that little bit every time there's always a gap and you're showing your belly i don't know if anyone else has that problem but i just think it i just don't like it personally on me so i just wish that them two bits were connected anyway very nice color it fits really nicely it doesn't feel as tight as the other one but all like i said on the other top um i like the sleeves and hopefully it'll fit a little bit better when i've hit my weight loss goal and that is the end of this video thank you so much for watching it has took a long time to collect all these things finally get around to filming trying everything on for you and uploading this video so please give me a big thumbs up comment down below and subscribe if you're not already and i will see you guys soon for more videos bye